Robbie Weeds here. I just wanted to show another example of hemlock woolly adelgid from afar. You can uh, see symptoms of um, a grayish green or a yellowish green. Um, as you get closer, you can see the cottony white egg sacs. The actual uh, uh, adelgid is a small crawling uh, sucking insect. They're orange, they're tiny and orange, very similar to aphids, other than the cottony white uh, egg sacs. Um, along with hemlock woolly adelgid, you very commonly find hemlock scale, elongate scale. You can see that on the actual needle. Um, obviously, they're immobile insects that are will suck the, um, uh, well, they will desiccate, uh, take the moisture out of the needles. Today, uh, as a first application, I'm going to spray a mixture of uh, bifenthrin and uh, imidacloprid uh, on the foliage. Also, I'm going to do a soil drench to get some imidacloprid as high up in the tree as possible as uh, this pretty significant infestation. But uh, the imidacloprid is labeled specifically uh, um, for uh, a curative for hemlock woolly adelgid. And I've had very good luck with when, once you do sequ sequential applications. So um, the bifenthrin will help with any crawlers or any... Uh, um, any adelgids that uh, aren't covered with in the woolly mass, um, the bifenthrin will definitely help with that. But the uh, imidacloprid is going to be the systemic that really uh, uh, poisons um, the the inside. The uh, so when when they're sucking the moisture, they're taking in the insecticide, and that will help uh, to wipe out the infestation. Um, I am using a spreader sticker to really grip a hold so i have limited runoff um we've been having rain lately so i've been adding a spreader sticker to most of my tank mixes um robbie weeds out <laughs>